Hi, my name's Jules. I have a channel called Jules Cruise Companion, but I upload a lot of videos about other traveling journeys and experiences that I have. And one of them just happens to be the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload more videos onto Exploring Jordan with Jules, a new YouTube channel. And if you want to link to some of my old Jordan videos, they'll remain on Jules Cruise Companion. So this is October of 2022 and I'm about to head back into Jordan for I think my sixth or seventh time. So I have a history in Jordan that only stretches back about five years or so, five or six years. And so I will go over that experience in other videos. But in what I'll do in this video is just my planning process to go to Jordan in November of 2022 and how that has changed from when I went back in February of 2022, when Australian borders first opened to international travel. On my Jules Cruise Companion website for February of 2022, I uploaded um, a video that tracked my plans and what I needed to do to go to Jordan once borders open. It was at the end of the pandemic, so there were additional things that I needed to do, like having PCR tests within 72 hours of travel, I needed the QR code, which you could get when you purchase the Jordan Pass. But of course, this is six months later. So much has changed. So I will just, re I'll just visit what the process is to get to Jordan in November of 2022. When you are traveling, it's important to have copies of all of your documentation. And one of the important ones was your vaccination status. When I went back to Jordan in February of 2022, I was not aware that there was an international document that could be produced from your Medicare immunization status that had a QR code on it. So I just carried what was for me the certificate, which was the green certificate. That got me through the whole of the trip. But then when I came back, I realized that there was an international one with the Australian logo on it, but it also had a QR code. So I have hard copies of this as well as in a folder on my phone, I have all of the documentation that I need to potentially show at any immigration. When looking at the Jordanian website, you still need a QR code to enter Jordan. And I am assuming that is a way of tracking people and data collecting and all the other reasons why a government would have a QR code. Previously, you could purchase your, you could, when you purchased your Jordanian pass, part of that was a flip to generating a QR code for you for that particular visit because what I can see so far is the QR code is linked to the flight that you arrive and the date that you arrive. Now that I'm going on to the website to buy my Jordan Pass, that portion of the Jordan Pass application and purchase process is defunct, is dull, is not an active portion of the page. So you have to go to the Jordanian um, government website and to get a QR code generated. And on that QR code form, it has your name, your passport, your country of origin, etc., the flight that you're going to arrive on, and it has a drop down menu for the date that you are going to arrive. Because my plan was to do all of this kind of logistics, paperwork type element of my trip well in advance so that I didn't forget anything or get tripped up by missing something. I went on about a month beforehand because this is still the back end of October. My trip isn't until the 11th of November. So I went on to fill out this form to generate this QR code. But on the drop down menu, it only has a choice of 10 days. And those 10 days roll over. So you can only, from what it looks like on the current page, you can only choose a date 10 days out of your flight or your arrival 
to Jordan to get your QR code generated. Entry requirements to any country is changing continually, so be up to date with whatever is on the website currently. So I am vaccinated, so I don't need to investigate the non-vaccinated status. I am going to travel with travel insurance because you should never travel without travel insurance. The previous time when I went in February, it generated an additional form to say that the um, policyholder was covered for COVID-related um, medical care. I will wait and see if that is the same thing that is going to happen this time where I've purchased other smaller travel insurances since that time and that has not been part of the process. But they were for domestic travel. Maybe that was part of the consequence of that. Maybe with international travel, I'll have to wait and see. So I have organised with my driver. I always have the same driver if I can. So that is one way to help a struggling economy so that you are paying a provider directly instead of paying through a third party such as a larger travel agency or a um, larger hotel chain or something of that nature. I try to uh, pay the locals and without having the money go through to large corporations and offshore stuff. So that's why a lot of my travel is at local hotels where the owner operator is there willing to help you on a day-to-day -day basis. Of my six or seven visits to Jordan that have spanned from one day, three days, 21 days and 28 days, I am planning this one to be a 28-day trip. I was thinking initially of buying just a one-way ticket going in and a one-way ticket coming out. But of course, the cost of that is prohibitory. Uh, cost of flights are increasing and I am traveling in December, which is always going to be an increase in flight costs because of demand. So I have a flight into Jordan on the 11th of November and a flight out of Jordan on approximately the 11th of December. Get to, No, maybe it's the 9th of December, getting back into Australia around the 11th of December. One of the reasons that I want to promote this channel and even my Jules Cruise Companion Jordanian videos is so that when people come to Jordan that they are not surprised by what they see so that there is a knowledge that they can embrace and so when they get there they really enjoy the place for the value and wonder that it is. When you look at other people's videos when they visit Jordan for their two days, their three days or their seven days, they always say, oh, I wish I'd have known this before I came or this was such a surprise. If I'd have only known more about it, I would have stayed longer, etc. So this is exactly why I want to promote Jordan so people visit there with the knowledge so when they get there, they can experience it to the fullest without having any of that energy wasted on surprise or missing out because they didn't know that something was there that was really close because Jordan is a very small country that they could have seen or participated in just because they hadn't done a little bit of research before they landed. Of course, my ultimate goal is to upload as many videos as I can. So I'm going to be there for 28 days. So I would like to do 28 videos. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. Maybe I'll do a little bit less, depending on what activities that I end up doing while I'm there. But there is always going to be the traditional Petra, Wadi Rum and Dead Sea. I don't know how cold the Dead Sea is going to be because it's going to be November of 2022 and uh, wet's coming into the winter time. And I have been there in February and March in the past and it was very cold, still doable, but uh, never head to Jordan without having a plan to visit the Dead Sea. So my goal of exploring Jordan with Jules is going to be showing you as many interesting places as I can and a lot of offbeat places. Not only the desert castles, hopefully I can get deep into the black desert this time. I have explained to my driver that I would like to visit a couple of interesting places that I've either googled or found on Google Earth. 
but the comment is always you're going to kill my car <laughs> and I don't want to kill the car because I want to get to all of the different places that are off the beaten track so I don't know why we didn't get a four-wheel drive if we drive slowly on some of these roads, maybe I can get to some of these really out of the way places. So this is Julie saying, come with me on a Jordan journey, a Jordan excursion, a Jordan adventure. And then you can book your own Jordan adventure with more confidence and knowing that you're not going to miss out on anything and nothing's going to be a surprise. Stay safe, everybody, and happy travels. Mm -hmm.